Have you seen a bus that runs on the road without blocking the way for other vehicles? But how? Well, what if it could be hollow and allow all other vehicles to pass through it? Or have you seen a road made of solar panels? Even China has a floating solar panel network as well. But how do all of them work? And do they exist in reality in the first place? Well, we are talking about China, a country that has surpassed all limitations of reality and reached an impeccable level. Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. Innovation World brings you China's innovation stories, projects, and growing influence in different parts of the world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially China's development and growing power, you will definitely find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will uncover the technologies you only get to see in China and nowhere else. Watch the video until the end to know how prudently China has achieved these technologies and how they are working. Let's get started. Number 1. Solar Panel Expressway What if the whole roads could be made of solar panels? Just give it a thought and you will realize that the maximum amount of solar energy can be caught this way. Roads are thousands of miles long and are only used for transition. Besides this, they do nothing. However, they take such a massive length of the area. Due to this reason, Chinese scientists thought about making efficient use of these roads by making them solar panel expressways. Instead of just using asphalt and tar, Chinese scientists and engineers use solar panel patches. First, an asphalt layer is put on the road, followed by solar panel patches. Then, the third layer of another material is put on solar panel patches to extend the lasting period of the panels. Once the road construction is completed, it can be used like a normal road while generating energy throughout the day when there is sunlight. Number two, floating solar farm. China wants to fulfill its entire energy demands from solar energy. However, it needs a vast area where solar panels can be fitted. Since solar panels cannot be installed in cities because they will cover most of the area, the Chinese government decided to launch a floating solar farm. An offshore site in Haiyang City was selected where solar panels were installed on the water's surface. First, a layer of material filled with air was spread on which solar panels were installed. And that's it. As long as the sunlight stays, this floating solar farm will provide energy that can be either directly used or stored for later use. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. Number three, HEMA. What if online and offline shopping could be merged together? Alibaba is the biggest e-commerce chain working in China and internationally. However, in China, Alibaba has launched its new superstores where offline and online shipping have been merged together. Until now, over 65 superstores have been opened where people can go and select the products they want to buy. Instead of picking those products, they will just scan the barcodes using a designated app called HEMA. Once they have scanned all the barcodes, they can come to the counter and pay using the same app. Once it's done, they will go to their home and all the products they paid for will be delivered to their doorstep. But how does that work? Well, after you pay, the employees start filling bags for you and deliver the packages within 30 minutes if your home is near the superstore. The reason why these superstores have been launched is to allow customers to check the products by themselves. Online shopping just lets you see pictures, which most people don't feel comfortable about. Number four, camera surveillance network. China has reached another level when it comes to catching criminals and bringing the crime rate to a minimum. That has been done using technologies like artificial intelligence, a powerful camera network, and an extensive database of criminals and citizens. China has developed a revolutionizing camera surveillance network that has made crimes impossible. Hundreds of thousands of AI cameras have been fitted throughout the city that records and studies both people and objects day and night. These cameras can immediately point out any criminal activity and using the location of that camera, police can be escorted within no time. The vast database knows who lives in the city. If someone unknown enters the city, these cameras will know that. Then, these cameras will put all their focus on recording that person, creating a record of all the activities. That's how committing a crime has been made impossible. Number five, elevated transit bus. Mass transportation is a great facility. However, often it causes traffic blockages. Large buses can disturb the total traffic and building a separate road for them can cost more money. The same is the case with bullet and high-speed trains that require billions of dollars to lay the railway roads. That's why Chinese engineers have launched elevated transit buses that run on the same road but don't block any traffic at all. 
Due to their genius design, they are elevated, being hollow in the center while having two peripheral sides on the road. The passengers must climb stairs to reach the sitting area, like the double-decker bus. The design of the elevated transit buses can be understood by imagining three double-decker buses connected together. Now, imagine the lower deck has been removed so all vehicles can pass through them. In contrast, the upper deck is intact where passengers can sit. Number six, fast. China's 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope is the world's largest radio telescope that is able to catch fast radio bursts. Being the size of over 30 football fields and having a diameter of over 500 meters, this telescope has been installed in China. With a cost of about 1.8 billion yuan and taking over five years to build, this telescope has the capacity to study galaxies that are billions of light years away from Earth. However, it should be noted that this telescope doesn't have lenses through which scientists can see galaxies. Rather, it has a 500 meter dish that catches radio waves coming from outer galaxies. By using this largest radio telescope, scientists can study the radio bursts that reach the Earth, carrying information about their origin. Earlier, these radio bursts reached the Earth. However, they existed for a few moments and then vanished. But now the FAST telescope can detect them and unveil detailed information about their origin and far-off galaxies. Number seven, RoboMasters. Several countries might arrange fashion and dancing competitions. However, things are quite the opposite in China. DJI is a robo company in China that has been arranging robo competitions in China for several years. These competitions are so high stakes and unveil robotic technologies that people from the US, UK, and other Western countries come to witness them. People from throughout the world take part in the competition and show the robots they have built. So intriguing is the robotic technology being revealed at the event that often, one is compelled to think that the competition is taking place on another planet. Aspiring engineers and geniuses can participate in the competitions and show their next generation robots to be picked by one of the largest robot manufacturing companies. What if China starts to sell these technologies to other countries? Earlier, China used to sell its products, but now it sells unbelievable technologies. Did you know that technologies like these could exist? Comment right below in the comment section. What if your country could have these technologies? Wouldn't it solve hundreds of problems? Do you wanna watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing. Until the next video, stay tuned.